vertical asymptote and horizontal asymptote of a rational function. Vertical asymptote is the x value that creates a zero in the denominator of a rational function. So for example, think about the reciprocal function, 1 over x. Remember that, 1 over x. So for the function 1 over x, when x is equal to 0, 1 over 0 is undefined. So therefore, x equals to 0 is a horizontal asymptote. And then in all of my notes for horizontal asymptote, I will just use VA for short. So every time I write vertical asymptote, I will just say VA. Horizontal asymptote. H A compare the leading degree of numerator, which is I would say the top, and leading degree of the denominator, which is the bottom. So there are three cases, because you have a rational function, you have a polynomial divided by another polynomial. So you will have to find the biggest degree of the numerator, and then find the biggest degree of the denominator, and then you compare them. So there are three cases. The first case is when the leading degree of the top is less than the leading degree of the bottom. That means the numerator has a smaller leading degree compared to the denominator. In that case, y equals to zero is the horizontal asymptote. I have a function for you. So for this function, let me just move this function to the left a little bit. So for this function, how about the vertical asymptote? The vertical asymptote, you have to factor the denominator. So this is a x plus 1 denominator. Use any factor technique you like. So that is equals to um, x plus 5 and then times x minus 6. Now, do we agree that when x is equals to negative 5, x equals to positive 6, we have a vertical asymptote. So x plus 5 and then times x minus 6 cannot be equal to 0. So therefore, x equals to negative 5 and then x equals to 6, they are vertical asymptote. All right. And then how about the horizontal asymptote? So what is the biggest degree you see in the numerator? So the biggest degree you see is n equals to 1, right? So this is the first power. And then the biggest degree you see in the denominator denominator is 2. So n equals to 1 and then m is equals to 2. So the top is less than the bottom. So therefore, y equals to 0 is the horizontal asymptote. I know you want to see the graph. You can use decimal to sketch the graph. And then after I finish the other two cases, I have I show you the graph. Case 2 is when the leading degree of the numerator is equal to the leading degree of the denominator, then the horizontal asymptote is y equals to the leading coefficient of the numerator divided by leading coefficient of the denominator, which is the case right over here. So for this case, I will uh, factor the fun function first. So that is equals to, this is uh, x minus, or oh, I use the same denominator, so x plus 5 and then x minus 6. Uh, the numerator, for, forget about it, you don't need to factor that. So this one, I know that x plus 5 times x minus 6 cannot be equal to 0. So x equals to negative 5, x equals to positive 6, they are my vertical asymptote. We, I have a graph to show you after we finish this. And then how about the horizontal asymptote? So the horizontal asymptote is the leading degree of the numerator is equals to 2, so which is uh, n is equals to 2. And then the leading degree of the denominator is equals to 3. And then this time they are equal. Why, why do I say a 3? Leading degree of the denominator is equals to 2. I am talking about these two and then these two, the leading degree degree. And then what is the leading, uh, what is the horizontal asymptote? The horizontal asymptote is y, y equals to leading coefficient of the top. What is the leading coefficient? The leading coefficient of the top is 3. The leading coefficient of the bottom is 1. So we have a 3 divided by 1, which is equals to 3, which is y equals to 3 is my horizontal asymptote. And then the last case is when the leading degree of the top 
is greater than leading degree of the bottom. So this is a second degree. This is a first degree. So this function has no horizontal asymptote. So this function has no horizontal asymptote because the leading degree of the top is equal to 2. The bottom is equal to 1. 2 is greater than 1. Then there is no horizontal asymptote. And then regarding the vertical, you have the denominator cannot be equal to 0. So when x is equal to 2, there is a vertical asymptote. All right, time to look at the graph. Uh, in case you did not copy anything down, so here is the function and the conclusion we, we got. So the first function, we have that vertical asymptote is x equals to negative 5 and, and positive 6. So we have two green dash line, one at negative 5 and then one at positive 6, and then y is equals to 0, right? That is my horizontal asymptote, which is the dotted line right over here. And then how do we, how do we, uh, how do we ex explain that the behavior? So for the horizontal asymptote, when x goes to 0, when x approaches to positive infinity. So in, uh, in mathematics, you have to get, uh, get used to this. So this symbol means approach. When you see this symbol, that means a pose. So as x approaches to positive infinity, what, what do I mean by that? That means you have to look at the right hand side. When x goes, when x becomes extremely big, right? Look at look, look at this graph. When x becomes really, really big, do we agree that this graph is getting closer and closer to y equals to zero? Right? And then uh, when x goes to negative infinity, which is the left hand side right over here. So as x becomes very, very large, the curve is approaching to zero. Uh, they, in pre-calculus, they won't ask too much about this. When you reach to calculus one, then you will have to do this a lot. And then I'd have to tell you one more thing. The horizontal asymptote affects the left end and right end behavior only. So let's write this down. Horizontal asymptote. I'm going to move this up to give myself more space. Horizontal asymptote affects the left end and right end only. Do you know why I say that? Take a look at this. Do we agree that that curve just go across the horizontal asymptote? Is that okay? Of course that is okay because for horizontal asymptote, you have to look at the left end and the right end. What is in the middle right here? I don't really care. So that means in the middle, the curve can go across the horizontal asymptote. Okay, the next one, the the blue one, you have two vertical asymptotes, one at negative 5, one at positive 6. So negative 5, positive 6. The, uh, the, the horizontal asymptote, I think I make a little mistake right here because 3 divided by 1, how can that be equals to 2, right? So let's fix that right now. That is equals to 3. So y equals to 3 is my horizontal asymptote. I have to correct that as well. So this is uh, y equals to 3. And then remember, the horizontal asymptote affects the left end and the right end behaviors only. So how do we describe the behavior? So here is how as x approaches to positive infinity, which is right over here, y is getting closer and closer to positive 3. As x approaches to positive in negative infinity, right over there. So as x approaches to negative infinity, y approaches to positive 3. The positive 3 is the horizontal asymptote. And then the last the last case, x equals to 2 is the vertical asymptote. And then I said that there is no horizontal asymptote. So in this case, when the highest, when the big, when the leading degree of the top is greater than the bottom, you do not have a horizontal asymptote, but you get a slant asymptote. you will get a slang asymptote. You won't see that very often for slang asymptote. We have to discuss that in a separate video. All right, so that is the end of this video. If you like the way I explain vertical asymptote and horizontal asymptote, you think everything is clear, you can watch the video. So now you can just ditch the book. You don't need to waste your time reading the book. If that is true, give my video a like, 
give my channel a subscribe i truly explain everything you did as always meet you all in the next lesson signing out